So I thank everybody for coming here, first of all to Regency Extended Care, and also to the opening of Regency Dialysis Center. I hope to God none of us will ever need it, but if God forbid people do need it, uh, we are ready to serve the community, the residents, and all those who need it. Uh, thank you, Your Honor, for being here, Mayor Spano, Senator Cousins, member of the councils, our medical directors, and uh, my good friend, Alex Ajak, and ladies and gentlemen, may this beginning be a beginning for Yonkers, for Regency, and we have a lot of plans to do other things, as I was speaking to the mayor, that we're getting from the state permission to expand in different areas of health care. So I thank you for coming. I thank you for joining us. And may God bless all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Your Honor. Thank you, Michael. And it, it certainly is a pleasure to be here. And obviously, um, we all know that um, having health, having good uh, alternatives or good health care provided to us in our community is always a top priority. Something you hope you never have to use, but uh, sure glad it was there when you needed it. So, uh, and that's what Michael and, and Alex and, and everyone here at Regency have done for so many, many years. So I wanted to just stop by here today on behalf of myself, on behalf of the members of the city council, I know Chris Johnson is here, uh, the first council district, we have Mike Sabatino, the minority leader of the Yonkers City Council. We have my councilman, Mike Breen, who's here today. And uh, we have a proclamation just uh, again for Regency Dialysis Day, uh, Center, sorry, uh, on the opening of your facility here today. And again, uh, we know it's top notch and we wish you much uh, success here in Yonkers as has been become the tradition for you, Michael. So thank you. Keep up the great work to each and every one of you. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce uh, our state senator, the Democratic leader of the New York State Senate, uh, Andrew Stewart Cousins. Thank you. Thank you, thank you certainly, Mayor, and I don't have anything to add other than, again, congratulations to, to Michael, to, to uh, uh, Alex, and to all of the staff and administrators of Regency. We all understand how important having well-run, uh, uh, appropriate in terms of health facilities are in our district. We all know people and we're surprised. I mean, I've gone to dialysis centers before and shocked to see how many of my neighbors and friends were actually on dialysis that I never really knew. And the fact is that there is a great need for this type of service and Regency has been exemplary in so many things that they've undertaken. I'm sure the same will hold true for the center. So for those who are in need, it's here. Uh, for those who need quality care beyond that, this is here. And again, uh, I, you know, I wish you the greatest success and really thank you for the contribution that you make to the health of the community and to the community as a whole. Thank you, Mike. Thank I just want to thank everyone here from the staff, Alex, Michael, uh, you know, whenever we have one of these, uh, the mayor and I joke and I say that the first district is where people think of when they think of the city of Yonkers, and they think of all the wonderful things going on. But something that people probably don't think of is the health services that you can get right here. And so expanding those opportunities, expanding uh, people's ability to live a long, healthy life is something that's going on right here in the first district and right here in this building. So I want to thank everyone who's been a part of that, making sure that people uh, can have the ability to not just live life, but to enjoy their lives. And that's what this dialysis center is allowing people to do. It's allowing people to have an extra day, but an extra day with a smile on their face. So thank you very much for all of your uh, you know, dedication to health and health services in this community. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad we started this venture, the dialysis with Hudson Valley Bank, and it ended with Sterling Bank. So I would like to thank Limburg Lichter, uh, our partner, to make this possible. Thank you.
So we have two medical directors. We have a regular med medical director for the nursing home, and we have a medical director for the dialysis. Since the, the day the dialysis occasion, we'll have the, the medical director from dialysis speak. Doctor. Hello, everybody. And th thank you for coming. And, and I just, I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank Mr. Melnick for giving me this, the opportunity to be here and to be the medical director for this great unit, um, which will be starting, will be opening tomorrow. We already have our first patient, which who will be starting tomorrow. And um, we hope that uh, we know that everything will go well tomorrow. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I, I actually didn't anticipate that I was going to be here speaking, but I appreciate for the, the, the chance to do <laughs> to do it. Um, the importance of dialysis and the importance of taking care of patients like the patient we will start tomorrow is because chronic kidney disease is 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 very very common in the U.S. There's somewhere around 500,000 patients on who qualify for the end-stage renal disease. Um, and uh, just as many, maybe around 450,000 on dialysis uh, as we speak, and that number is growing. When I started, when I became a, a nephrologist 15 years ago, I, I graduated um, from St. Vincent's, the, the old St. Vincent's that was, was tore down, I guess. That was in 2000. They were saying at that time that, that in fact, there was a need for nephrologists. There was no need for cardiologists. There was no need for any more uh, gastroenterologists. There were just a dime a dozen, if you if you ask me. But but uh, but no more than, than what we had. But there was a need for nephrologists because the the end the people in the end stage renal disease pool was actually growing. And so, in order to serve. The people who have who have unfortunately ended up on on dialysis, this unit has come and and uh, is going to provide excellent care, and I'm very happy to be part of it. And um, again, I, I thank you all, and you in particular, Mr. Melnick. Have a good day. Finally, our medical director. <laughs> Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks everybody for coming and again uh, you duplicate what uh, Dr. Valdez has said there is a definitely need for dialysis and not only here in Yonkers but all around uh, the country so we are glad to be avant-garde and being the first ones to be in a nursing home so we can facilitate and make our nursing home residents easier access to the facility. So again, I thank everybody for coming. These are old friends, like uh, our councilman, the mayor, of course, and Mr. Melnick, and uh, Alex Sajak. Thank you everybody for coming, and uh, we try to keep uh, improving the quality of care that we provide here at Regency Extended Care. Thanks for coming. Again, thank you all of you for coming. Uh, as a Yonkers native son, I'm very proud that we will provide this service to people. We'll be the only dialysis on this side of the county, so we're expecting to help a lot, a lot of people. But I don't want to speak for long because we're going to have ribbon cutting in two minutes next door uh, in the dialysis unit itself. So please join me. We're going to leave uh, right now. Thank you. <laughs>